about that? So I worked on a new series of top fives that uh, dives into the world of comedy. Now, a few years ago, I did a, a video series on horror from A to Z, put the top five in, and it just was a big success. I really appreciate everybody that watched those videos. I still get comments on those uh, videos, even to this day, uh, when it comes to the top five of horror. Uh, so now here's my top five of comedy. I'm going to list a crap load of titles, and I'm going to pick my top five that are going to go in there. And then you leave it in the comment below and let me know what I got wrong, what should have been in. Uh, it's always fun to interact with you guys. But let's go with the letter A. And we got some great ones in here. So let's talk about it. Ace 1. Ace Ventura 1. Ace Ventura 2. When Nature Calls. Adam's Family. Adventures in Babysitting. All of Me. One of my personal favorites. Uh, American Pie. Animal House. Arthur. Austin Powers 1. And Austin Powers 2. Anchorman, Armed and Dangerous with John Candy and uh, Eugene Levy, underrated comedy in my opinion, and of course, Airplane. Which one, which one should I put in the top five? Well, at number five, I'm going to go with Arthur. I just freaking love this movie. It is so damn funny. The drunk scenes alone. Just get, just cut all of the scenes out. Leave the scenes with the, uh, in the with Arthur in the drunken state, and you're just gonna get gold through the whole freaking thing. Dudley Moore is absolutely perfection in this movie. He is uh, uh, just like all balls out all over the place when he is drunk. It is so freaking funny to me, and just obnoxious and loud, and reminds me of me in my twenties. It was absolutely a fun time. But anyway, uh, Sir John. Gilgood won an Academy Award for his portrayal of Hobson and his freaking delivery uh, uh, and chemistry with uh, Dudley Moore is just spot on. I love this movie. Uh, and then, of course, Liza Minnelli. Can't go wrong with Liza Minnelli. She's a scene stealer herself. Uh, a fantastic movie. Love the soundtrack on it. Obviously, Christopher Cross uh, won the Academy Award for it as well. And uh, yeah, it's one to watch if you have not seen it. Arthur, number five. At number four. Okay, this was tough, but I'm going to actually go with Anchorman. Because the improv skills in that damn movie is just, you know, it's just comedy personified. The, just the improv. The, look at the deleted scenes in that movie. It's just funny and funny and funny. Like Paul Rudd, uh, uh, Steve Carell, you know, you got uh, uh, David Koechner, and then obviously Will Ferrell, the GOAT when it comes to improv comedy. I think that that movie is so brilliant. And, uh, you know, the... the, the the fight between the, the the stations and it's just gold, man. I love that movie way better than part two. Uh, but yeah, Anchorman number four at number three. Ah, uh, this is gonna shock some of y'all, but I'm gonna go with Ace Ventura one. It made Jim Carrey a freaking star, and it started a string of hit after hit after hit. I'm talking Ace, Mask, Dumb and Dumber. Batman Forever, like it was just a hit after hit after hit for Jim Carrey, star making performance, absolutely hilarious, and some of the best physical comedy you have ever seen. The the Miami Dolphin scenes alone with the, getting the ring is just gold. So check out Ace. I, obviously, you gotta have seen Ace. If you haven't seen Ace, that's your homework. You gotta watch Ace. At number two, Animal House, John Belushi. Tim Matheson, like, you have so many freaking good people in this, and the, the, one of the best comedy ensembles of all time. This movie soundtrack is phenomenal, the comedy is great, it, it's a, it's really takes you back to the freaking college days back in the day, and it's, I love it, there's just, you can't say anything bad about freaking Animal House, John Belushi was Animal House, and to this day, his picture in the college shirt, drinking the Jack, that's what college is all about. Check it out, Animal House at number two. And my number one comedy that starts with, with the letter A is Airplane. Damn it, I laughed so hard in that movie. I laugh to this day, and, and it's so freaking, that movie is probably going on 30, 40 years already, probably 40 years already, and that movie just does not stop. It's still hilarious. The parody of this movie, like just the parody comedies in general, this is the mother. This is the one that started it all. Because without the airplane, you don't have the naked gun, you don't have scary movie. This was one of the biggest influential parody comedies of all time. Robert Hayes and Julie Haggerty are freaking hilarious in this movie and of course Leslie Nielsen's performance uh hey I think without that performance you don't get Police Squad you don't get Frank Drebin number one comedy starts with the letter A is Airplane leave it in the comment below and let me know what you think that I get it right what should have been in the top five leave it down below and uh, I'll see you down the road